Hi, I'm Christy Rost. Today's cooking segment is dedicated to nurses. One of the things I love about soup is it's a comforting meal no matter what time of year. And when the ingredients are in my pantry and fridge, that's even better. Today I'm going to share one of my family's favorites, Old Chicago Minestrone. I preheated the stock pot and to this I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I swirl to coat the bottom of the pan and I add in carrots and celery and onion. Then I saute these aromatics until they begin to soften. And then I'll add in about five cloves of chopped garlic. So this already is starting to smell really fabulous. So I'll add in the garlic now. And then in goes a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes, a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and six cups of vegetable broth, and a little bit of tomato juice, which will even out the flavors, and a little bit of water. So we're just going to let this saute for a moment. You know, every time I make minestrone, I think back to when I was a kid and we lived outside of Chicago. My parents used to take us to a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, and every meal started with a steaming bowl of minestrone. So these have softened a bit, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the canned tomatoes, and the little diced tomatoes. Oh boy. And six cups of chicken broth. That's four. And here are two more. And actually this is vegetarian broth. You can use chicken if you like. And then I'll add in a little five ounce can of tomato juice. It's going to really richen the flavors a bit. And then I'll add in just a dash of sugar. The sugar will help to neutralize the acidity of the tomatoes. And a little bit of oregano, about two teaspoons. And just stir this, bring it to a low boil, put on the lid, turn it to simmer, and let it cook for about 30 minutes. Then we'll come back and add the rest. Next, I'm going to stir in the beans. I have Great Northern, or you can use cannellini beans, dark red kidney beans, chickpeas, and then I want to season with some freshly ground black pepper, And you can add a little salt toward the end of making the soup, but be careful because all the tomato products already have a lot of sodium in them. So I'm going to hold off till the very end. And then about 10 minutes before serving, I can add in pre-cooked, medium-sized pasta shells. And if you like kale or collard greens, chop them up and add some of those to the soup in that last 10 minutes too. Now the lid goes back on and I'm going to simmer for another, oh, 30 minutes to an hour. Or if you prefer, just let it slowly simmer all day. A steaming bowl of old Chicago minestrone is nutritious, satisfying, and oh, so comforting at the end of a long day. And when it comes to comfort, nurses lead the way. So today, I want to give a shout out to nurses and to my alma mater, the University of Texas at Austin School of Nursing. Thanks for all you do. Take care, stay safe, find the joy.